Hello, this is Craig, and I just wanted to go over a technique I use in Unity. Unity is really great for building games with set levels, because uh, the scene view editor allows you to build levels and then instantly run through them. However, I build a lot of games where there are no set levels, where the levels are generated randomly or by a heuristic, where the monsters are random or by a heuristic, where unique loot and characters pop up all the time. That's not really suitable for scene view because the things you edit aren't the things that are going to be seen by the player. Instead, the player will see random, wildly varying versions of the stuff that you're editing. In some cases, you can still get away with using the scene view in, as, in, in a normal way, but I find it's easier to create a, a scene that the players will never see and use that for editing purposes. This is a simple example. Here I've got a terrain management object. The terrain management object is a very simple object which just contains the random encounters you're likely to find, bunny, wolf, wolf, uh, and some foreground, middle ground, and background stock because it's a 2D game. So here you can see we're looking at the monster stock. Now I can see the monster stock in the, in the inspector view as you just saw, but this has a couple of advantages. First off, this has the advantage of letting me see all of the terrain that, I'm, that I use. I don't have to just view one at a time. Secondly, it shows me the monsters visually and gives me their level, um, both of which are important to me. Now, I could create a custom editor to do this, and there are a lot of custom editors out there, but that's kind of heavyweight for what I want. I don't need help in editing these. I just need help in remembering them, in placing them relative to each other. So it's very easy for me to add another monster to the list. Here, we'll just add another one of these guys. Uh, let's add a bunny. So there's no difficulty in, uh, in actually editing these. The difficulty is in when you've got 50 of them and you're trying to remember what's going on, clicking through them and keeping track of where they are, that's just, just a nightmare. It's easier to have a scene where they're all in the scene and you can see them in edit mode. Now, just to be clear, these aren't prefabs. I can't even click on them. The monster links within these objects, we are linking to the monster prefab, but we're not putting the monster, uh, monster prefab into the scene view. It's not a sub-object, it's just a link. Uh, and there's two reasons for that. The first is that sub-objects uh, stop being prefabs. We can't have nested prefabs in Unity 3D, um, so that would actually be bad. That would really ruin things. And the other thing is that the monster objects are actually battle-oriented objects. And if you put them in, uh, they will try to, they, they will report as to the state of their AI. And that would just clutter up the scene for no good reason. You don't need that. So all I do is draw the texture that is attached to these guys. I don't draw the, um, I don't actually pull them into the scene proper. This has been a very easy way to help me develop stuff. Uh, it's not the biggest, um, most amazing thing in the world. But it is useful, and I thought I might share it. That's it.